And welcome to episode one of a new series here on Full Manager 2014 with Borussia Dortmund over in Germany. Um, I put that uh, video out asking you guys to vote a day ago, maybe two days ago. Um, and the general consensus from the comments was either Dortmund or Monaco. They were the two that kind of popped up a fair few times. Dortmund popped up a little more than Monaco, but um, like I, I think I would have picked Dortmund ahead of Monaco anyway. Like I just prefer Dortmund than Monaco. Like there's nothing against Monaco, but um, I like the way Dortmund has been set up. I like Jurgen Klopp as a manager, and I want to keep them um, progressing. As at the moment, their team is being a little is being dismantled a bit uh, by Bayern. So I want to make sure that that doesn't occur. And that we can, uh, that I can propel Dortmund to be probably the top team in Germany and pass out Bayern. So I've just started here. I've had my um, personal message with uh, Hans Joachim Watzk, who is the um, managing director. Uh, transfer update. Um, like I am on. Uh, yeah, I am on the new transfer update. The 14.3 update, whatever it's called. So this news is there. Robert Lewandowski will leave at the end of the year to go to Bayern, which is very, very distressing. <laughs> I have to say, it's not ideal at all. But I suppose just got to get on with it. Got to gotta go for it. Got to try and rebuild. That's going to be one of the... Um, sorry, actually, if we have a look more. We've got Nuri Sahin on loan. Uh, apparently, this Jidong Wong guy is about to join. Hmm. But yeah, he's not great, is he? Yeah, I've seen a bit better. But anyway, he played for Sunderland, didn't he? Yeah. Anyway, um... But this this challenge is going to be a tough one because, um, like, the team is getting dismantled a bit. Like, whether you like it or not, um, it really is getting dismantled. And apparently I should offer neutral termination. I'm going to do so to those guys. Like, usually it only comes up with that unless they are absolutely shit. One and a half star. Not going to happen, mate. One star, definitely not going to happen, mate. So, well, confirm mutual terminating these guys. Uh, been recommended Mark Andre Ter Stegen. God, he, he is a good player. Uh, probably won't go for him though because we do have Weidenfeller. So you can see we've a little, we've a trim enough squad here, and uh, not the biggest squad around. But if we have a look through it, we've got some, um, uh, got some quality players in there. We've got Roman Weidenfeller. As I said, he's a Dortmund legend. I think two hundred. How many games? Like, he, he joined them back in 2002 from Kaiserslautern. He's played an awful lot of games for Dortmund. Um, now, at centre-backs, we've got two very solid centre-backs in Mats Hummels and uh, Nevin Subotic. Both cracking players. Both going to be used a lot. Uh, Subotic is only 24. Hummels is only 24 as well. So, they're decent enough age-wise as well. I uh, got Kevin Grobkreist, who is probably one of the most versatile versatile guys on the game. Like apart from centre half and goalkeeper, he can play everywhere. Like a bit, you know. He his natural position is a left winger, and yet he can play right back. Like how? <laughs> like how is that possible? I was a decent player though. Um, uh, Nuri Sahin on loan from Real Madrid. He's a good player. A uh, nice creative player as well. Didn't work out at Liverpool for him, but I think he could work out nicely. Here's Sven Bender. He's more of a defensively minded midfielder. Bloody hell. Look, he has some shit technicals uh, there, but he's got like... Like, he surely he can play centre-back. He's competent there. You could probably train him to be a centre-back if you really wanted him to. Um, Because look at those mentals, though. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Those are good to see. Uh, Fenwender Miles Jujic and don't really know him. Elke Gadongan, do know him. He's been 
sniffed around by a lot of clubs. He looks a very good player. Um, yeah, he's can slot in, in most of the midfield roles. Jonas Hoffman, Pierre Pierre Emelik Aubameyang. Um, yeah, I think those stats are doing them a little bit of a disservice. Like they they do have him down as kind of a absolute physical specimen, which he is. His mentals and technicals though are could be better, I I suspect. But you know, for eleven million pounds, like he's good though. He'll do his job, and I'll probably play him on the right wing, so he needs a lot of pace. Marco Royce, <coughs> best player at the club in my eyes, apart from Lewandowski. Um, just stunning player, can play left wing, right wing, can play up front if he wants. Uh, just absolutely brilliant. Uh, Jakub Blazowski, a decent enough player as well, right winger. Um, again, I think the stats are doing him a little bit of a disservice there. I think he's much better than that in real life. Yeah, we've got Lewandowski, who I've said before, and this is the one I've been dreading for a while. Henrik Mickey McHitterine. McHitterine, I think that's how you say it. He's out for two months, so I won't have to pronounce his name for a while. McHitterine, that's, I, I looked it up on the internet, and that's apparently how you say it. He's an Armenian international. Was that Shakhtar? He's very good at Shakhtar. Oh, got 25 goals in 29. I didn't know he was that good. He's not even a striker, he's a centre mid, isn't he? Yeah. But again, a nice versatile player, and that's what I love about this squad. They have loads of versatile players. So yeah, like there's a pl and there's plenty of backup. Um We have a look. Is it a young so if we just have a look at general info? Yeah, I've I've seen younger squads. It's not it's not um like terribly old, it's just the like it, they've got a lot. Of, they've got heaps of twenty-four-year-olds. They've got like, um, got eight or nine twenty-four-year-olds. So a decent enough age to work with there. If we have a look and uh, have a look at the second team, any good ones floating about? Uh, Marian Saar. I might look to uh, bringing him up to the first team. Yeah, it looks very good. They brought him from Leverkusen a couple of years back. Lucas Piszczek. I know him. He's twenty-eight years old though. Yeah. Yeah, for six to seven months, that is a disaster for Lucas. It's a bit of a shame, actually. Julian Schieber. Yeah, probably will sell him. Probably. Um, yeah, probably will. Uh, 4.9 million was a bit steep for him. And then, uh, if you have a look, then, under 19s. Any good ones? Not really. R. Weller. Jonas. Two and a half star. But it's not great. If we have a look at information... Um no no yes information general uh, no facilities facilities uh established youth recruitment average junior coaching we might look into that excellent youth facilities excellent training facilities good corporate facilities eighty thousand uh stadium fifty four thousand seated uh under soil heating yes got a 13 year sponsorship affiliated clubs they don't have any we might look into getting a feeder club at some stage but i think this this will probably conclude the first episode um the first live commentary will probably be the super cup against bayern should be a big test of our credentials um yeah so i'll see you guys back then for that if you enjoy this video because first video of the series please give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please go and do so i'll see you guys later bye